This is the DR Power Wagon. And if you're interested in one of these things, stick around because I'm going to give a complete review here. I'll go through everything with this thing. They shipped the Power Wagon to a depot nearby. And uh, I drove my truck down and picked it up today. And I realized when I saw the pallet that it was on that there was no way I was going to unload that thing with my my forks on my tractor and so I decided I'd have to uh, take the box off get the oil in it get it gassed up and drive it off from the truck so here you can see how they have it tied down so step one will be to uh, unpack the uh, machine and in there they have the owner's manual I like to sit down and read through that and familiarize myself with the machine so it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, the machine's really all set to go. What you really have to do is plug this wire in and put some oil in and gasoline and you're ready to go. So we'll plug this wire in here. This is on the negative side of the battery. So that's your ground. And uh, I looked around. I couldn't find the keys for a minute. And they were, they were clipped right on the handlebar there. They give you two keys and we'll t check the shifter here got to have it neutral to start up there's your choke right there so we're ready to start turn the key and away she goes the machine seemed to run pretty rough here and uh, I realized later on that you have to slide that lever from, from the choke position all the way forward in the opposite direction all the way to take it completely off choke so I think I had it a little bit uh, the choke a little bit on there so here we've driven the uh, truck down to the front of my property where I have a wall and for some reason the camera switched over to black and white I must have hit a button here that I didn't realize I hit Drive it right down off from the truck here. And of course when you get a new machine, you have to kind of get used to things. You have to make sure it's in neutral. And uh, your throttle is over on the left hand side underneath the handlebar. That little black lever you can see. That's the throttle. And then this lever on top of the handlebar, you hold that down and uh, then you can put the machine in gear. If you don't hold that down and you just try to put it in gear, the, the engine will stop. So that's a safety feature. So I've got the machine in the first gear. And we'll get it started up the driveway here. And then I'll put it up in the second gear. It's a nice, slow, creeping uh, first gear feel pretty safe uh, driving the thing in first gear. There's second gear and you see I'm walking right along. There's four forward gears here so the fourth the fourth speed must be really fast. Now you'll need to uh, check your tires. My, my tires didn't have any air in them at all and so the front tire I think uh, calls for 30 pounds and the rear tires I think a maximum of 24. I spent the extra money and got the Pro model, and uh, that comes with a power dumping feature. The machine also comes with a plastic box. You take this wooden one off and put the plastic one on, and then you can mix your uh, wet materials. We plan on using that to mix concrete, so this power dump feature will come in pretty handy for that. Now what I'm going to do next is take the wooden box off, and put the plastic one on. And so I tipped up the box to get a look at how things were attached there and I noticed there's four bolts with lock nuts. It takes a little time to take these bolts out. After I did it one time I realized uh, maybe I can use some kind of a pin with a quick attach rather than using these uh, bolts with the lock nuts. There's no real need to uh, to have the bolts on there as far as I can see as long as the uh, the pins don't come out 
uh, things should be fine. Of course, you're not going to be removing and switching these boxes all that often, so uh, we'll wait and see how that goes. But there you can see the two bolts in the, in the rear of the machine that have to be taken out. And I took the side rails off, and you can lift the, the bottom of the box right off from there. And these, uh, these bars right here is where the box attaches. You can see the two holes in, in that bar, and then, on, of course, on the other side. So the first time I, I tried to put the uh, plastic box on there, of course, they don't stay in place. And so I thought, well, I'll just set the box up on there and then try to uh, move that thing and, and get it lined up. So it, it works okay. You just have to uh, be patient and get things lined up. Here I'm putting the bolts back in. I think this first time out, it probably took me 10 minutes to switch the boxes. So this is your box for working with wet material. And as I mentioned before, we plan on using this uh, for concrete work. We'll mix the concrete in the portable mixer and then dump it into this box. And then we can transport it to where it needs to go. Here I'm figuring out the easiest way to hook up the uh, ram for the dump feature. And so you're going to pull that pin out and, and put this on the machine and then connect the RAM to it. The uh, DR Power Wagon is designed for homeowner use and so they've kept things pretty simple. And sometimes it's the simple designs that work the best. The frame on this thing uh, seems sturdy enough. At first when I took a look at it I thought it looked, it looked kind of light. But uh, it's a pretty uh, substantial frame under this thing. Here we're creeping along in first gear below the concrete. <laughs> so I think this thing will work pretty good for moving this concrete around and dumping it. So I'm starting to get a feel for the machine here. And uh, I like to look things over and look at all the small details. See how the comp company uh, finished the, the product. And I noticed on these square tubes, the, they use the plastic uh, covers on the top and bottom. And those covers will not stay in there. Probably the first day they're going to fall out of there. And so they, the DR company could uh, rethink that a little bit and, and come up with something that will actually stay in there. I've had experience with those before and I know they don't stay in for long. Now, as you can see this thing turns right around in place almost and uh, so it makes it a handy machine with the three wheels it can uh, it can spin right around in place. So what I think I'll do now is load some firewood up in here and I've got some hilly sections here in my backyard and we'll drive this thing around a little bit. So I've got quite a load of firewood as you can see. And around in the back section I have an area that I'm clearing and the ground is pretty uneven. And I've got the machine in first gear and it creeps right along and it's pretty darn stable as you can see. Now there's a hill right here and you can't really tell how steep it is uh, in this video but it's quite uh, quite a little steep hill I'm starting up the hill right now and again I'm in first gear and, and the power wagon has no trouble at all going up that hill with that load of wood now this is pretty steep coming back down I want to see how it how it feels when you're going down a hill and uh, same thing it's it's a stable platform for, for moving this firewood I haven't lost a chunk yet and we've had a lot of rain lately and so the, the ground is pretty well saturated I don't have the chains on this and it still does pretty well in the 
this uh, wet sod you're kind of sinking in there you can see now I'm on the side hill right right now and I'm going to turn this thing right around on that side hill no problem now we'll take the power wagon over onto the driveway and I've got it in third gear sometimes you want to hoof it right along got a good load to take a long distance and so third gear you're walking right along pretty good pace all right I'll stop right here and we'll try fourth gear I'm actually going down a slight hill so fourth gear you're almost running <laughs> so they've got plenty of choices for your, your forward speeds now this next spot in my yard will be the real test. I'm coming down and it's very steep right there. I had the machine in first gear and it, it was able to come down no problem. Lots of times when I come down through there with my tractor the rear tires will uh, lock up and I'll slide down the hill. There's a couple grease fittings that you want to put grease in. I read that in the book. One there on the wheel and then one on the upper part. Now here I'm uh, inside my garage and I've got the machine in neutral. It's off and you can see there's there's no problem wheeling that thing around. My first impression of the DR Power Wagon is that it's everything that they said it would be. I put it through a pretty good torture test here the first time out and I'm uh, pleased with how the machine performs. I think they are asking a fair price for the machine. Uh, nowadays, if you go out and buy a riding lawnmower uh, at the homeowner level riding lawnmower, you're going to pay about the same as I did for this DR Power Wagon. So, I hope you found this video to be useful. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to Tim Tools 99. Thanks for watching.